Queens. I'm Taisha, back with another great video. And I want to apologize in advance. You'll be hearing some banging in the background. My son, he's making dinner. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about this video. Now, the title may throw you off, but this is something that we absolutely need to talk about. And um, recently, we were in the car, and when I go to thrift stores, I purchase uh, old CDs. Um, audiobooks on CDs, you know, kind of old school like that. But one that we were listening to, um, it talked about um, really how to change your mindset once you get into gear to start, you know, acquiring assets and building for your future and things like that. Before we get started, just want to say greetings to everybody. We have Joe here doing it, joining us on, on YouTube. And greetings to everyone who's on the join and also watch the replay of this video. And no, this video is not sponsored. I'm not an attorney or a paid attorney spokesperson. I'm just an average person, just Taisha, who has just been doing research and just my mind has been awakened to some things that I should have been paying attention to before. And, you know, I'm just grateful that I'm able to, you know, get this information, learn, process it and also encourage others. Now there's other people who are much more advanced in this topic. I'm not, this is not my area of expertise. I'm just a citizen learning, trying to do better, okay? Um, I do have in the, in the description links for the American Bar Association so that you can find yourself an estate planning attorney um, or someone who can help you with this paperwork. Also, uh, because I live, live here in Georgia, there's also a state level bar association as well. And greetings to Sister Leisha Leash. How are you? Um, I just realized I have my glasses on. And yes, these are my new glasses. But I try not to wear them because um, it will show my ring lights back in, in the reflection so or in, in the glare. So, yes, we're going to talk about something that's just kind of been on my mind. And I wonder how many people were just not prepared to lose a loved one during this recent pandemic and stuff like that. And like I told you before, I, I'm not confirmed, but I believe that I had the COVID last year. And I'm, I'm happy to say that, you know, the ancestors got me through, I'm through it. But I realized that my affairs, my state was not in order had I taken, taken like sick and, and, and gotten like severely ill or became an ancestor. And I noticed with with especially our community, you know, death is feared and you don't talk about it until something happens and that's when it's too late. Um, when I worked as a, a patrol police officer, I had to get numb to it a lot because I was always the rookie, bottom of the totem pole. I went to a lot of deceased persons calls and, you know, you're there at that moment. And I, I have this book uh, someone had, had gave me, and it's, it's on, like, um, like aftercare of grieving families, and it's called What to Do After the Police Leave. Um, my volume is low. Okay, let's get this turned up, okay? Get my microphone closer. Is this better? Let me know. Let's turn my mic up some more. Okay. How's that sound for you? Let, let me know if that's better, okay? Thank you for, for letting me know, and I can talk a little bit louder, too, okay? Um, what was I saying? So, yes, I just want to say I am proud of everybody that I see on my timeline, on Instagram, everyone that I am networking with that has started, you know, buying stocks, paying off debt, actually acquiring assets, starting businesses. Like, we're doing great things, like, to actually hold a title to your vehicle in your hand after – you know, paying on it for so many years, and it's yours. You have acquired something, and many people may, may say, like, you know, a car is not an asset, but, you know, it's something that you hold ownership to, okay? I want to actually pause you for one moment, have some background noise that I kind of want to get rid of, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, thank you for holding on for a second. That was so unprofessional. I greatly apologize. Um, hopefully that helps with the volume. So three things that I have been researching lately, actually it's probably like, I think it's like four, four or five. Um, it would be a durable power of attorney, 
a living, a, a medical power of attorney, a living or revocable trust, and also a will, okay? That's four. And a, another one, I'll keep it as a bonus, because uh, shout out to our sister, Urban Farm sister. She gives out homework with her live video, so I figure I will, you know, inspire you to do some, some homework, okay? Today is Monday, and normally my Mondays, I use them as a day called Mind Your Own Business. So I'm minding my own black business today, and I do that on Mondays. Sometimes I'll take a personal day of leave, and what I do on Mind Your Business Mondays is I'll go over my insurance policies. If I have mail stacked up, I'll sort through that, see what it is. If I need to go to the bank, get something notarized, I take care of all of that. And that's what I do on Mondays. So today, I went ahead and I, I took care of some stuff on the estate planning side of the house. And, and, and like I said, death is something that we don't discuss until it's too late. But we are, you know, acquiring things and we need to ensure that we're not another burden to our families. And I'm not selling insurance. This video is not sponsored by anyone or anything. Um, if you want to talk about brands and stuff, we can talk about Timonics, my, my personal defense gear. <laughs> Make sure you go to Timonics.shop and get your, your personal defense gear, okay? That's the only thing I'll talk about tonight. But let's go ahead and dive right into durable power of attorney and medical power of attorney. Um, a couple of years ago, my, my grandmother, she had just taken ill just overnight. And my grandmother was always very private. You know, she kept everything to herself. She, um, she didn't even, well, it took my sister a while to get a key to her apartment, but she just taken ill overnight and everything just went downhill after that. I'm happy to say that she's still here, but it, it brought these terms into my mind. Durable power of attorney. No one had access to her checking accounts, her bank accounts. Um, as far as medical power, power of, of attorney, um, I think my sister, shout out to my sister, she really held and she holds the family together, you know. Um, we were able to find out who her doctors were to also give power of attorney because she couldn't make these decisions on her own anymore because she was so sheltered and quiet and kept everything secret. It was really a guessing game, leg, leg work, you know, just the runaround trying to get her care. And we really didn't have time on our side, like decisions had to be made right then and there. So let's say someone has, let's, let's say like, I use, use myself as an example. Okay. Um, I was in Washington by myself dealing with the COVID and, um, yeah. Um, the only person that actually had a key to my, my condo besides the, the property manager was my friend Kim, but you know, no one knew the inside of my condo to know where my important documents were to know, I don't even think they had a phone number to where I work. Now, I, I know at work, you'll have uh, a case of emergency contact this person. But um, yeah, these are things I'm like, wow, I put my family in a crappy situation to really, they knew nothing of my life or what to do. Um, but yeah, it's very important that you get a durable power of attorney to handle your finances. And let's say you, you, you take ill. Everything that that deals with money, your banking, unless you're, you're joint banking with someone, your banking, someone needs a power of attorney for that. Um, your real estate to sell or, you know, let's, let's say you took ill and your lease is about to expire. You know, um, retirement plans, your benefits, those who are like on, uh, on VA assistance, government assistance, things like that. Um, my grandmother... We had to, she actually signed um, some, some paperwork that we were able to continue um, her stay at the nursing home because she, she went ahead and, and signed some paperwork of, of, that avoided us having to go through probate and stuff like that. But that, that was some work. So make sure that you have a power of attorney and medical power of attorney as well. I think that went ahead with medical power of attorney. When you can't make a decision for like a transfusion, let's say you went to have surgery and you just started losing blood or something happened where, you know, someone else needs to speak for you. You need to have those documents in place. Okay, please get that ASAP if you do not have it. And as I said, 
this is not my profession. I don't sell, you know, legal service or, or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just now learning about these things, and I want to share and inspire you to do so as well to get our affairs, to get our house in order. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about that I that um brother Ron Lad Poncho Stevens, uh, face Facebook friends, good good brother out of New York, beautiful family. He put me on to learning more about living and revocable trust and how to start putting your assets in, in a trust. Now, a trust is similar to a will. The difference is, in layman's terms, when you have a living revocable trust, you have to fund it first. There's a lot of work to transfer titles and deeds to your trust, okay? And if you happen to acquire assets after establishing and fully funding your trust, you'll have some more legwork to do and some more added costs. But the good thing with um, a living revocable trust is that should you uh, become severe, severely incapacitated or, or transition to be an ancestor, your beneficiaries do not have to go through probate court to get access to your assets, okay? Now, if you're if you're not familiar with like like probate court, probate court handles, you know, estate matters, um, things of that nature. It's not criminal or traffic court or juvenile domestic relations. It's totally separate in the affairs and assets of a person. Um uh, the, the main difference between a living revocable trust and uh, a will, okay, is that a trust is private. You have your privacy. And let me know if you have been to a courthouse or looked in a newspaper where um, where you've seen proceedings of a will, where like a, a will is published or something like that. It's, it's posted usually in a bulletin board at the courthouse or something like that. I've, I've seen those on the first first floor in Newport News Court. So yeah, the, um, the will is public. And let me, let me tell you something real quick about when stuff goes public. Those of us who have either bought a house, um, established a business, or um, applied for a patent or a trademark, I've done all three. And let me tell you, all your business is public information. It's public information. You have no privacy with that. So that's why it's advisable to um, get a P.O. box out yonder, um, use like a public, uh, just um, a, a business email address, a P.O. box, and get you a throwaway line. They're known as a side piece line or a Google Earth number. Use that for your business or get a separate line line for the business. Because there are people out there who are looking to scam and solicit money out of you. And I noticed that when I bought my house, you get all these different mail correspondence from solicitors. But then you also, um, when I applied for my trademark for Timonics, now I applied for my trademark first. And what had happened was I was not quick enough to establish my .com. So someone wherever they are, they saw my application when it was made public for my trademark and went ahead and took my .com domain, timonics.com. It's been available all this time. And I just didn't think, I thought that I was protected once I started doing business and actually get merchandise and establish the website. So they took my .com, they bought it for like $4, but now they want to sell it for $1,000. And I'm like, okay, you go ahead and sit on that because I went ahead and got Timonics.shop. I would go through the whole thing about, you know, trying to fight to get it. But I'm like, I'm diverting attention where I could be making money to trying to do this. So, yeah, all that stuff is public. And um, I just got a letter the other day from somebody here in Georgia. They have an address on Peachtree in Atlanta. And they're like, uh, we will give you a certificate of existence or something like that. And I'm like, hold on, I handle all my correspondence with the state of Georgia and my filings online. Who are you and why do I owe you money? Why are you requesting money? And real quick, the, the chick on the phone was like, 
we're a third party solicitor. So I'm like, pretty much you're trying to scam me and get some money out of me for absolutely nothing for a document I don't need. Yes, you got to watch out for that. So that is a scam. Okay, so just know anything you do public, there are other people out there looking for this. And that's how they do they they, they quick come up, I might do a separate video on that all that stuff. Getting back to the point, and I want to say thank you to everybody who is here. Patrick Young, you said, starting a new business, our people need to get back to the skilled trades. When I was young and naive, I chose the philosophy of W.E.B. Du Bois. And the older I got, the more I take the side of Booker T. Washington. So I am man enough to admit I was wrong. Absolutely. And thank you for being transparent and admitting that because I look around, especially here in, you know, hot Georgia, there's so many different uh, HVAC companies, LLCs, everywhere. The skilled trades are there. And um, when I, I had told y'all that I am a cosmetology school dropout, but then I went to New Horizons and, you know, completed it under a, an apprenticeship. So see if there's a New Horizons in your area to, you know, get a trade and establish business for yourself. It feels so good to just be self-sufficient and to know that you have, have something that you can teach your children, you know, you can pull somebody up, up, up under you and teach them so that they never have to beg someone else to eat, you know? Great, great, great point. And I and, and I can admit, too, I was the one, you know, grow up, get a new job, um, get a good job and, you know, do all this and no, okay? You'll be working forever, you know? It's, it's, not, it's not it. But shout out again to everybody who is taking control, starting businesses, acquiring assets, paying off debt, and really taking these steps to establish something for our future generations. Now, um, as I said, we, we talked about the will. Um, a will is something that I've been f familiar with since my active duty days. And shout out to everybody who is military or retired. You can actually go to legal, your nearest uh, military base, and actually get your wills and things like that done for free through um, the legal assistance office, okay? Um, ev everyone else, just make sure you, you properly vet the attorney you choose to work with, compare rates. Also, um, ask, some, ask those around you for a recommendation, and you'll come to find that you know that someone has worked with this attorney who's really good, and you can, they can, can help you out. Um, another one, I know that people talk about legal Zoom a lot, so you can try that as well if, if you, you've had success with that. I know we have a sister, uh, she has started up her business and got her DBA using legal Zoom. So that's a, a, another asset for you as well. Now, what I was told when you have like a vehicle, do not put that in your trust because your registration will read the trust. Okay? Damn, let me take time to drink real quick. <laughs> Okay, so do not put your, your vehicle in a trust because if you happen to get into an accident or something, the other person will see, oh, we, they have a trust and they have some money. And so then that's when they'll get this thing we used to call in patrol. We had the word accidents called whip cash, okay? Not whiplash, whip cash. And they, oh, my neck and my back. And they want $150,000, all right? So don't do that. Instead, you know, just hold the title to your vehicle and then you can put that in your in your will or you know go ahead and have like a, a joint owner okay now um another one is um a benefit with your your will is that you think just having a will and then something happens to you and you transition and then your assets and whatever your final wishes are as far as like money everything else is just passed automatically to your beneficiary your heirs no 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 your heirs have to go to probate court and they have to get a judge to sign off that these items will be distributed and released to you according to your will. And that will has to be validated. Not just that you have it, it has to be shown that this is actually a true document. It's going to take attorneys, um, court fees, time, okay, time, all right? So that's why it is important to try to have all of these documents in order so that you can alleviate, one, the financial burden on, on your heirs, okay, your, your beneficiaries. It's enough they have to deal with you passing away, 
and you know readjusting to life without you but now they have to keep going back and forth the court to try to get your assets and it's just going to continue especially if you had if you had like a tragic death it's going to continue to re-victimize them they, they got to keep seeing your name and reliving how they they lost you like they really don't get a chance to grieve and you know heal and accept it so um a lot of people they rely on the living revocable trust because yeah you'll put some money up front to make sure that your your beneficiaries your family has the ease the, the the time to adjust and grieve and your assets are distributed properly okay if that that makes sense all right so um one thing that you may want to keep in mind is who do you trust who do you trust especially those of us you know those of us who have a spouse and those of us who you know are single or who may be a widower or a widow things like that you have to think about who can you trust with this information who can you trust to make decisions on you know who it's not only do you trust them but are they willing to accept that responsibility okay i know that's you know like with us talking about death and things like that it's it's taboo it, it just people like oh you just ruined my whole day talking about that you know but these are things that we have to discuss amongst ourselves and so it may make you look around and reevaluate those who you have in your life okay because tomorrow's not promised it really isn't and it's not it's, it's nothing to be sad about you know um it, this is a, a part of life and becoming an a, a, a ancestor is something honorable especially when you become an ancestor and you have tangible things to pass on to your your generations okay they they will celebrate you they they will appreciate you and you know you're you're not a burden on them okay um solo dolo salute to you to black for you what's up my beautiful black people school board school boy lee thank you for joining i have to get my affairs in order absolutely and that's what i want us to realize because those who are putting out YOLO, you only live once and be reckless. I mean, at one point in time, I was considering going skydiving, you know, as if my life wasn't already dangerous enough, you know, with, you know, working midnight shifts on the bad streets of Bad News, Virginia, working on aircraft carriers. And each carrier I went to, somebody got severely injured or died. So, you know, it just made me think about like, wow, okay, thank you, ancestors. Let's get this right. You know, let's go ahead and ensure that things are taking taken care of, you know, if, if in the event, you know, I happen to transition to be an ancestor before my, my 100th birthday, okay? Patrick Young stated, yes, integration set us, set us back. The leaders of the civil rights movement traded the ownership we had in order to be like the white people and therefore appear less threatening to them. There were several black Wall Streets across the country, not just one. Absolutely. Thank you for, for bringing that up because uh, recently on this most recent trip across country, I, uh, I drove through and I visited the historic site for uh, Greenwood, Oklahoma, which is known as um, the Black Wall Street of, of Tulsa, Oklahoma. So I'm still still editing that video. I just, I want it to be right. Like, I don't want to edit it, upload, and I'm like, dang, I should have did this. You know, I want to just get it up there at the right time. So thank you for bringing that up. Now your homework okay like i said shout out to the urban farm sister she does these amazing lectures on everything science farming just everything she's she's so brilliant she was live right before i started this video so make sure you go check out her but your homework now i talked about this in some other videos but i think it just it kind of got you just i don't know it got hidden or swept up under the rug but my homework for you tonight, okay, well, ask me this. Type in the comments if you've ever heard this term, pay on death. Payable on death, okay? And if you've never heard of that, I'm going to explain that to you. Um, who in here, well, of course, I'm going to assume everybody online has some sort of, of um, banking. You belong to some kind of banking institution, whether it's um, a regular bank, a savings and loan, a credit union, something like that. You have a bank where you have a checking account or multiple checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, all types of stuff. 
Well, guess what? When you open those accounts, where you presented with a form payable on death, okay? And what a payable on death is, it's a form. And let's say something for those who may say, well, Saisha, I don't have assets. I don't have a million dollars in the bank. I don't either. You know, I'm a millionaire. I just don't have all, all my money yet. Speaking of money, thank you, Solo Dolo, for the $20 super chat. I really appreciate you. I'm $20 closer to my millions, okay? <laughs> but um, the money you have in your account, like I said, if something happens to you, your family has to go spend thousands in probate court to get access to it. Okay, so let's say you got like, you may have $500 that you, you put away, or you may have a couple thousand that you put away. Now, after your family uh, spends all this time obtaining an attorney, court filing to get access to your bank accounts, it's pretty much, you know, they broke even. Well, here's how you avoid that. Um, you go to your bank and you fill out the form, it's called payable on death. There you would pick someone or where your funds from, from your account will be deposited to or paid out to. So you can enter, so they have the power to empty out those accounts and have access to whatever you have in there, okay? You don't have to think, well, you know, hell, you, you may even just have the $5 to open the account, but that's still yours. It's not for the bank to keep. And there was a elderly brother I met in Washington who told me about that. Um, he was, he, he said to me that, that he owns some, some property in California, and he told me to do that. And I'm like, well, I don't have that. It's just my account's open. And, yeah, go do that tomorrow, okay? I know here in Georgia, you know, outside has reopened. So I know that a, a couple of banks are open. You can definitely take care of that. So please do that for me as soon as possible. Follow up with me. Like, leave a comment on this video to let me know that you did that. And please share the information with someone else with your family like hey let's go to the bank and request payable on death forms for all of your accounts so that your money so that the, the bank doesn't keep your money okay another uh website that someone told me about was the website for unclaimed funds and what this website is is uh they hold on to money if a company or something goes out of business or some some entity owes you money and they can't find you they send the money to unclaimed funds do your research on that my, my mom said that that she did it a couple a uh, couple decades ago and it worked she had some, some money from my old job and she was able to to get it so check that out as well okay but yes uh thank you again to solo dolo my moderator b1 as always and you know the one that the old old all black towns we as community not celebrate enough in Eatontonville, Florida, the birthplace of Zora Neale Hurston. Yes, um, there was a brother that just talked to me about that. Uh, he told me a story about how she was so determined to learn that she was actually, um, and like she would look through the floorboards to hear what was going on in class. So that's that's so important. So thank you for that. I have to drive and start start traveling, but I don't want to encounter Florida man right now. So. <laughs> Yeah, these are places that we have to remember and visit and, you know, make sure that our children know about these places. I just went to uh, King's Records in Cincinnati, Ohio, and what was crazy was that I grew up, I went to school right across the street from that in Evanston, and I never knew that was there, but I, was, I heard about it, and my mom was saying, yeah, they want to tear it down, the descendants don't want it. I'm like, well, let me get there and see what's going on and to actually go there and research it. And I, my son, I took him there. It was, it was great. Okay. Now, uh, we just talked about your homework. Go to the bank and complete your documents on pay on death. Okay. And like I said, uh, military members, retirees, you can use legal on base. And then everyone else, you know, if you know an, a, a, an attorney friend, call at them. And, uh, or you can go to the American Bar Association. I left links in that so you can go and check it out, okay? But yeah, minding your own business. That's pretty much it. You know, just make sure you, you take this time out because you are a business. Uh, we are, are not useless. We're acquiring things. I'm really, really proud of the connections that I have on social media. We're thinking outside the box. 
Some of us are, are, are putting in the hours at our nine to five and coming back home and doing five to nine for our own projects and businesses. And then, you know, giving away weekends to help build each other's business and things like that. So I just thank everybody who is here tonight that um that's been supporting me since you know the one subscriber i re I remember my my first five five subscribers you know one one of them was uh brother eric the other was my sister candace and yeah that was that was just amazing so i'm just happy that everybody is here rocking with me and supportive so i really appreciate it. like i said i don't know everything on this topic i've just been researching so much and there's so much there and it just it just really showed me a gap that I had in my life that needed to be patched up real quick, real quick. So again, uh, thank you to brother uh, Ron Lab Stevens out of New York. Um, like I said, he has a beautiful family. So shout out to him for really putting the bug in my ear. But then also um, when I go to thrift stores, like people just think I go thrifting to buy a whole bunch of clothes and all kinds of stuff. No, I'm there hoarding books. That's what I got to do. I hoard books. And um, I look for uh, different audiobooks and just valuable knowledge that people kind of discard because as technology advances, the old forms kind of get, you know, donated or thrown away. And one thing that I did when my son and I, we drove around and, you know, in the car, I turned my car into like a university on wheels. And he was actually listening. Like, I thought that he just kind of tuned me out. He was playing his game and just like, Mom, you listen to boring stuff. And so uh, I had turned off the CD because I had got closer to Cincinnati. And I'm like, I'll listen to the local uh, oldie station. I like listening to oldies. He was like, Mom, I was listening to that. I was like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, our children are listening. You just have to definitely replace uh what what they're listening to that that could be unproductive and replace it with something constructive but also learn with them shout out to professor black truth i listened to his broadcast uh earlier today on dysfunctional um media and you know the, the negative effects it has on our children our black children so make sure you check that out that was a powerful video i might, might go ahead and play that one again that was that was just it was deep all right so I just want to say thank you to everyone that is here, Patrick Young. I really appreciate the engagement from you. You said we should have multiple bank accounts, and every one of us should start at least one account in a black bank. There are 21 of them in the U.S., and I think Georgia has four. I think Georgia only has four. Okay, fellow Georgian, all right. So definitely, that, 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 would, that would be my homework, to look at them and then also put some money over there. So thank you so much. One thing with banks, um, one thing we have to do is, I noticed we have brand loyalty, okay? Brand loyalty. And I know this, if we buy one brand of something, we kind of stick with them because it's familiar and we want to stay loyal to that brand. But like everything, it's business, okay? So I'm glad you mentioned multiple bank accounts because if this bank is giving you a crappy rate, it's time to go to a new one. It's time to get a new one. go to a new one because if I'm going to have my money sitting here, I need to get the best return on my investment. I need to get the highest dividends possible. So yes, uh, I think I think there's a website that you can search and compare bank rates. I believe it's called like bankrate.com. I don't want to say that because if it's a scam site, don't don't blame me. But yeah, just uh, do your research of the main banks, okay? And then also compare some credit unions. See if you are eligible to become a member at certain credit unions. I know for a fact with, um, what is it, Navy Federal, a lot of people, like, they've extended membership, like, okay, when when I came, when, when I was active duty, we had Armed Forces Bank, but we also had uh, Navy, Navy Federal as well, but with Navy Federal, it was, like, um, military members and their spouses, but then it got extended to, like, the spouse. Just, if you can prove family tree connection you can have an account at navy federal so definitely check them out um and yeah they they're one of the the leading competitors you know they really didn't want to work with me on a home loan but <laughs> that's okay so yeah you are the business mind your own black business mind your own business today i, I make sure that i focus on that on mondays mind my business 
you are the business, so you have to ensure that you're getting the best deals, okay, and keep your feelings out of it, it's about your money, okay, so be, be serious and take care of them, protect it at all costs, and make it grow, okay, and find great people to connect with, to make money with, okay, like I said, um, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a paralegal, I, I guess I was going to throw my hat in, and I'm still, like, thinking about that, so yeah, make sure you uh, verify every, everything I say, do your due diligence and research, connect with attorneys, and uh, properly screen your attorneys, you can also do a lot of research online on your own, okay, and yeah, that is about it, I'm not going to keep y'all up on this live, I'm really tired, I stayed up late last night, I think I'm going to finally go to bed early, it was hot today, so I'm about to go ahead and rehydrate and go to sleep. So, once again, uh, Car Carlito Terrace, I'm in Monroe, Louisiana. I stay next door to the Huey, to Huey P. Newton's childhood home. Oh, my gosh, you got to give me so many places where I need to vlog, too. So, thank you for sharing that. I am going to con connect with you offline and get some more information. And, yeah, g go ahead and get my road trip on since, you know, outside has opened up again. And get y'all some more vlogs. I haven't vlogged as much, and I really miss it. Rod from, Rod from Bama, B1 as always, brother. Kevin Gray, good to see you. Carlito, my uncle, served in the Navy, but he died in 2018. Can I apply a Navy Federal Credit Union? I will definitely, uh, I will advise you to call them and see, okay? And it could be possible that one of your cousins became a member, but before he um, he became an ancestor, and my condolences to, to your family as well. I, I thank you for his service. So, yeah, I would definitely co uh, contact the bank and, and see. But I'm pretty sure they they, they, they should honor that, okay? Patrick Young, uh, and there is a skill trade, and a lot of our people are sleeping on. We really need to start paying more attention to appliance repair. It's really big. The powers to be are trying to shut the door because more blacks are finding out more about it and coming through the door. J just thought I dropped a jewel. I can't keep it to myself. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Like, yes. Even though, you know, we're in this community or this world where people just want to throw everything away instead of, instead of replacing it, um, the more and more things are becoming, are becoming more expensive and things like that, it, things need to be, need, things need to be repaired. Like, who would have thought, you know, as disposable as our cell phones are, people pay, pay a grip to get that screen fixed, you know, or if they happen to jump in a pool with it, they want to get certain parts replaced appliances oh my gosh like people who buy a house like they could spend so much on i like i did not know that washer and dryers came with tvs like built into them so absolutely you know i'm pretty sure people don't want to just take those and throw it away something happens to it like they overload the washer and the belt breaks you gotta replace that yeah so definitely thank you so much i'll make sure um i copy your comment and i'll paste it and i'll pin it on the youtube side as well or if you want to um cut your, your comment and paste it as a comment on youtube as well so thank you for sharing that um carlito terrace thank you again and uh i will see y'all on the next video i'll give you some notice when i go live again i'm thinking it may be wednesday this is a new month so i was live on thursdays in april for celebrate uh black men month and so i'm thinking for may i might do wednesdays at about seven okay and I'll, I'll go live but i also will try to get some more um uploaded content as well so thank you for connecting with me i am headed to eat some dinner and then i'm going to do my live or live or recorded video on my instagram stories where i do this day of taking my uh, power bitters. Oh my gosh, the power bitters have been great. Like I have not weighed myself, but I'm pretty sure like I'm down some pounds and yeah, it's real. Them power bitters are real. You, and I see why they say you need to drink water because a lot, you will lose a lot of water. Okay. I think that's, that's why I'm kind of sleepy right now. I'm kind of sluggish. This hot day just really got to me. Like it was like 90, but it's okay. I love it. Once again, thank you so much. Make sure that you share this video, um, like as you already did, leave comments, share it with someone. Follow up with me on your homework in this video, okay? Let, let me know the things that you, that you have done so you can keep each other motivated and accomplishing these things, okay? I will check back in with you, and if I have any further information, I'll leave it as a comment or I'll make a post on Facebook. Once again, make sure you head over to... 
Chimonic Dot Shop for all of your personal defense gear, such as knives, tourniquets, holsters, defense rings, and so much more. Flashlights. Flashlights are so important right now. Like, I, I seem to lose power every other day. So I'm, I'm like, I need a flashlight. Like, no, I have a whole inventory of flashlights. You need flashlights, okay? This is uh, rain and thunderstorm season. Get you some flashlights at Chimonic.shop. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for your continued support. And I will